Professor, using bronchodilators on COPD, is once or twice daily dosing referable? Once or twice a day dosing for patients with, with COPD. There's a good clinical rationale to do this because many patients have symptoms at night. If you give a once a day bronchodilator, when you look at the profile of how they act, the effect on lung function, it decreases throughout the course of the day, throughout the 24 hour cycle. So at the night time, the effect of the drug is lower. And that gives you a good clinical basis why you might need in some patients an extra dose in the evening to have a bigger effect on nighttime and early morning symptoms. Because there's plenty of clinical data that many COPD patients suffer with nighttime and early morning symptoms. So we have clinical trials which show that when you give twice a day bronchodilators, the effect at night on lung function is better than a once a day. And some studies also show that long-acting bronchodilators twice a day improve nighttime and early morning symptoms. So there's a, there's a sound rationale to do it. However, there aren't any studies comparing once versus twice a day bronchodilation for nighttime symptoms specifically. We have data on lung function, but not symptoms. So where we are now, I think it makes clinical and pharmacological sense. We lack one key bit of clinical data that proves it. Few data are available for the efficacy of triple uh, therapy. As author of an article on Lancet, uh, was it, uh, what is your opinion? Well, actually, for years, there has been some data on triple therapy, but using separate inhalers. So using one inhaler for a long-acting muscarinic antagonist and using a separate inhaler for an inhaled steroid beta agonist. What we have now is triple therapies all in a single inhaler, and this is the study you're talking about. And it provides evidence for the first time for the effect on exacerbations. So with the separate inhalers, we had effects on lung function proven, we had effects on symptoms that were proven. There's three ways in clinical practice that doctors might prescribe triple therapy as a step up. Either from a double combination, so an inhaled steroid beta agonist or a dual bronchodilator, or from a long-acting muscarinic antagonist monotherapy. So the papers you're referring to, we've shown a benefit when you step up from ics LABA, steroid beta agonist, or when you step up from long-acting muscarinic antagonist monotherapy. So two of the routes to triple therapy. And there was a 20 to 23% reduction in exacerbations. The missing piece of evidence is what happens when you step up from a dual bronchodilator. But we have some press releases, that papers are not published yet, we have press releases saying that this is an effective option in terms of exacerbations and we await the full papers. So is it an opportunity for better compliance? Yes, with a yeah. single inhaler compared to what we had before, you're right, there's an opportunity for better compliance. The, the, having separate inhalers, often they're different types of devices and patients find that very difficult to coordinate and understand and use properly. Having a single inhaler, you can tra train the patient, likely to be much more effective in that regard.